Welcome to a short preview of this Screencasts Online video tutorial. Following on from my last full tutorial, Travelling with your Mac, this week it's time to take a look at Travelling with your iOS devices. Now of course this can mean your iPhone or your iPad or both and in most instances the following guidance applies to both. But I'll try and point out where the guidance is specific to one device or the other. But let's start with taking a look at locking down the configuration of your iOS device. I think it's fair to say that your iOS device is inherently more secure than your Mac, uh, basically because of the way that Apple has designed the operating system. It was designed for security because you are using a mobile device from the ground up. So there's lots of features in here which enable you to uh, have a secure device but to make it even more secure as well, especially when traveling. Now one thing you do need to pay attention to is the auto lock settings. I currently have this set to auto lock never because I'm recording the screencast. I don't want the screen to sort of keep going off as I'm showing you something. But in real life you'd probably want to uh, turn that down so that it has quite a short auto lock time. The way we'll get to auto lock is go into settings and then under display and brightness there is an auto lock setting. Here we go. So auto lock as I say currently set to never but you might want to dial that down to 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes etc. Uh, just so that if you uh, leave the iPhone uh, it will auto lock automatically for you. This is much nicer on the iPhone X with its uh, Face ID feature in that you can switch on attention so that if you remove attention from the device it will auto lock automatically. But on a standard iPhone, such as the standard iPhone 8 Plus, we need to go in to change this setting. So let me come out of here. In fact, let's go back to the home screen. Now in the same way as we entered a message on our login screen on the Mac in the previous episode, you can enter a message on your lock screen, although you do have to go about it in a slightly different way. Uh, let's have a look at the lock screen. So if I power this down and power it back up again, you'll see it's a, a fairly plain wallpaper. And let me go in. We have this sort of dark area down at the bottom. Let me just go in using Touch ID. To create a message on your lock screen, you do have to manually edit a wallpaper file. There's no automatic way of doing this. So I'll go into photos where I have a separate wallpaper album. So there are my wallpapers, just the one in there at the moment, which is this. I think it's the horse's head nebula. If I, well, I don't want to really edit my original wallpaper file. What I might want to do is tap on this button down here at the bottom and then find the duplicate option. So there is an option here. There we go. Duplicate. So I'm going to tap that one. So I've now got two copies of this wallpaper file and I can use standard markup to put a text message onto it. So if I go into edit and then tap the three dots in the circle, tap markup. And then what I want to do is add some text. So tap on the little button down here, add text. Right now it's difficult to see that text because it's in black. Let me change that to white. So again, difficult to see, but there is a little black button here which I've tapped, tap white. Now I can see the text. So let me just go ahead and type something in. And I can tap to select and I can drag this down perhaps to a darker area where it's clearer. And then say done, done again. Now I can also tap on here and say use as wallpaper. Tap on that once and uh, we can leave it as still or perspective. I'll leave it as perspective. We'll say set. And rather than set both, I'll just say set lock screen. And that's now done. So if I come out of here, if I close the phone off and power it up again, you'll see we get this nice message down at the bottom of the iPhone. If found, please contact Don and then a telephone number. And you could always mention a reward if needs be. Now you'll notice the screen's gone off because it's the lock screen and the auto lock feature doesn't work on the lock screen itself. So let's Power it back up and we'll go back into our home screen. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone. 
and even your Apple TV using the Members Only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.